So Connor, obviously disappointing result last weekend, but how has this week in training been? Yeah, it's been good. Listen, um, it's a strain and obviously we had two massive results last week against Forest Green and South End with really good performances and I think performance-wise against Maidenhead, if you look at the amount of chances we created and obviously limiting them to three shots on target, you probably think we're going to win the game, but moments change games and goals change games. I think everyone that was there could see the goals come from errors, um, which we haven't really seen this season, so that's a shame, but in terms of chances created, We've obviously got it's been the been the kind of the story in most games. Even the games we've won, we should have won by more goals, and um, we've missed a lot of chances this year. And we're we're trying to address that, but it's always tough when you haven't got a recognised fit centre forward. Obviously, we've been trying to rectify, but it's not easy when you're trying to push and compete in a tight race to get the right player in. It's it's all well and good getting anyone through the door. We've got to make sure it's the right player, and we're trying to do that. But at the moment, yeah, no recognised fit centre forward makes it very tough for everyone. So it's not. I don't think it's fair to put all the blame on the lads and. As I said, you know, the team we're on is good as a centre forwards and obviously Steady's been unbelievable for us, but he's, he's a brilliant 10 for us and he scores goals in that position. But in terms of leading the line, we haven't got to recognise number nine fit, so it's always going to be tough. But as I said, if we keep creating chances and keep playing the way out, we'll be fine for the season. Yeah, I mean, like I said to Dean on, on Monday in the, uh, in the interview, for anyone that did or didn't hear it, was that um, it was almost similar to the Halifax game in terms of just how, on paper, you know, it looked like we should have won. I think, to be fair, I think it's even more dominant than the Halifax game. I think Halifax game, we definitely controlled the game without creating loads of clear-cut chances. Um, probably still should have at least got a draw, if not edge it against Halifax. But I think Monday, I think you can, the reaction is it's always the same. that We lose a game and everyone gets emotional and overreacts. But if you actually watch the game back with a clear head, you can see how many chances we created and definitely more than enough to win two games of football, never mind one. So um, We felt we'd done enough to definitely get again get a point. But you make them errors, it gives you a tough... We know it's a tough place to go. We make them errors, it makes it even tougher. So I think if you look back, I think Kirk was saying the other day, I think only one out of the top seven won at Maiden there last year. So it's a notoriously tough place to go for all the better teams in the division. To be fair to Dev, he gets that he gets his team organised and well up for them big games. So he, a season's not defined whether you win or lose at Maidenhead. I think Chesterfield didn't beat Maidenhead until the last home game in this division, which was back in the last year. So tough place to go, we know that. But I think if you offer it up offer up the amount of chances and the lack of chances they'd have before the game, we probably all would have took it and expected a result, but that's the way it goes. And I think you can obviously of course all that matters is the result, but if you look too much into that and not in performances, which is obviously what's gonna stand us in good stead over the season, I think the performance was positive. Yeah, and I guess at this sort of early stages in the season, you're going to learn a lot more from defeats like that than you are from victories, yeah? Of course. Listen, it's funny because you think back to Tuesday, last Tuesday against Forest Green, we were brilliant for 90 minutes, but there was a little bit of groans and moans out of the fans because we weren't shooting from 25, 30 yards, which has never been asked at We always worked the opposition down and grind them down, and we know that a chance will come. And if that goal doesn't come in the 94th minute, Obviously it does, so the fans think what performance we were dominant. If it doesn't come, maybe they're moaning that. So this is the context that comes with the result. Um, I think if you try to look past it and look at the performances more so, that was that's what show where you'll be at the end of the season. I think performance-wise, over the five games, we've been excellent. Yeah, and I guess looking looking ahead to this weekend then, obviously we've had a few players out of injuries. Is there any update to anyone potentially coming back? Yeah, we had a few back training this week, um, yesterday and today, so that's a massive boost for the group. Whether, whether it's too soon for them to be involved tomorrow, we'll wait and see, but... Going forward, obviously, we have reinforcement come back, which is key. So, And obviously, to be fair, the chairman, he's always trying to help us. So we are in the market for a centre forward. That's obviously not, that's that's common knowledge. So, um, But at the same time, as I said earlier, you can't just rush in and sign anybody. You've got to make sure you get the right one. There's no point in replacing people that are not as good as what we got. So we're always trying to strengthen, but make sure it's with the right player. We're not, we're not rushing into a bad decision. Speaking on Tamworth then, tomorrow's opposition. One of the league's new boys, obviously, they won the National North last season. What kind of test do you think they'll bring to the Hive? Listen, to be fair to them, they've done a brilliant job. I think you probably don't, you probably don't want to play these types of teams in the first 10, 15 games because they're still riding that crest of the wave. They've obviously been promoted two years in the spin, so they've got that winner mentality within their group. And you can see that they've lost two out of five games, all been tight games. Even the ones they've lost have been tight. So by no means just that, well, well, can anybody expect them to come here and just roll over. They're really, really well organised. Obviously, you can see that with the defensive record last season. They all work so hard. So be a tough, tough game tomorrow. So they'll come here, they'll defend, they'll defend deep, they'll run, they'll keep working, they won't stop. They'll go to the 96th minute, 97th minute, whatever it may be. So we know how tough a test is going to be. We've got to be right at our best. Yeah, they got their first win of the season on Monday against Aldershot. Obviously now they're probably a team playing on confidence, coming here on confidence. That will probably bring out our A game, won't it? Well, listen, you've you got to keep your guard up in this league. I think 
you can see that. Like, listen, we don't feel that. We, we, when we beat South End on Saturday, I think a lot of the fans thought we just turned out to Mayday and get a result, but that's not how this league works. And we know that within the group, we'll never go into any game complacent. And obviously, Tanworth, to be fair, have shown in the five games that they're tough to beat and they're a tough game. So, as I said, they, they lost 2 0 to York, only by one against Hartley, and obviously, they're going to beat Oldershaw, who are obviously a really good side for this league. So, we know how tough it's going to be, and to be fair, it's going to be really well organised. Thanks for your time, Cheers, guys.